spring is here, even if we have a little bit of snow in the forecast mm -hmm. today. So it's a good time to say goodbye to winter comfort food and welcome spring with a fresh new take on food. Here with some healthy spring bowls loaded with nutritious foods is Chef Julie Hardigan. Welcome. Hi. So Thanks. this is a great time of year to kind of refresh and regroup in terms of your cooking. Definitely. And bowls have been so big and popular lately, yes. right? Like smoothie bowls and poke bowls and Buddha bowls, so many different styles. And the thing about bowls, I mean, to me, I don't know, like check it out. Like everything just looks more fun and fresh mm -hmm. and pretty. It makes healthy eating so much easier. And like we were, we were talking about, they're also wonderful to customize, right? Yes. So bowls are the kind of thing where based on what ingredients you put in, it can work for anybody's uh, diet, like however they like to eat, whether it's gluten-free, dairy-free, high protein, no protein, right. and, and in a beautiful package. And what I'm going to show you today is my little formula that I have to put bowls together to make all of these different flavor combinations. Okay, so, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can just get started. Yeah. This one here, and then when we're done, I can let everybody know what all these other right. delicious sure. bowls are. Uh, this bowl here is a Mediterranean shrimp, chickpea, and artichoke heart bowl. And mm -hmm. when you go to put a bowl together, it's so simple. And I'm, I'm all about keeping it easy for people and mm -hmm. making it very clean and easy. So what you're going to do is start with your bowl. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Start with right. the bowl. And divide it into three. Oh. And this is just my quick formula to keep in mind, like, how to compose one that's going to make sense to you and taste really great. So we're going to do is start with some rice for this one. You could use quinoa, you could use farro, you could use all different kinds of things. And this is things. brown. This um, is brown yeah. rice. You know what's a great one to keep on hand? They have pre-cooked rice pouches now. Yes. You tried these? Is this the one where you just put in, you boil it? Yeah. Oh, no, I, no. I make that one. It's really? It's like a minute. Oh, wow. It's, you know what? Sometimes there are these ingredients where I'm like, keep this on hand, you guys. It yes. just takes a minute to put it together, and then you've got perfectly cooked rice. So mm -hmm. it's a good pantry staple. And by the way, if you are doing low carb and you don't want to do rice, you could also do coffee flour rice. Have you guys been cooking? No. no. Oh, no. Can I take, can I taste a little bit? So basically, yeah. So a lot of supermarkets have cauliflower rice available mm -hmm. now. And if you, if you don't mm. find it, it just tastes like crunchy and like really neutral. And yeah. when you yeah. put it, that? yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. I'm going to show you how to make it, is it neutral. yourself. Okay. So. okay. So if you can't find it in your supermarket yeah. and you do want to substitute cauliflower rice for your bowl to keep it really light, this is all you need. It's a grater like grandma had and some cauliflower and you just go over it like this really quickly. That's a really good tip. Little mm -hmm. hack. I love little hacks like this. So mm -hmm. what else, just because I don't want to run out of time, yeah, yeah, so yeah. what else do so we put in So after that here? we're going to put some beans or legumes. Here I've got chickpeas. Mm. Then I like to do one part grain, one part bean, one part veggie. So here we're going to do artichoke hearts and roasted peppers, keeping it Mediterranean, right? So we'll put those in there together. Okay. You might need to replenish your spoons with forks and You guys are so hungry. You get here so early. Next, once you've done the three things in the bottom of the bowl, we're going to put some fresh veggies on top. And for this bowl, I love to use baby spinach because it keeps for a long time in the fridge and you can enjoy it cold or warm, which is what I love about this recipe. You can eat it cold or warm. Then we're going to add some grape tomatoes. And then with this one, are you guys both good with shrimp? The shellfish? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. So again, this is how you can customize your bowl. You could add chicken to this, like I did in a bowl over here. This one, just again, keeping with that Mediterranean feel, we're going to go with some nice shrimp. Uh, another tip that I love to share with people, keep frozen cooked shrimp on hand all the time. Really? All you need to do is pull it out of the freezer, rinse it in a colander with some cold water, and mm -hmm. you'll have like shrimp ready to go in about a oh, minute or two. Oh, yeah, I've never thought awesome. about keeping so it, the co buying the cooked one. And then you just rinse it with some water and you're good to go. And then finally, we're going to do some fun garnishes. We're going to do some feta cheese, right, Mediterranean. That's the last part of the formula. So the first part, three things in the base, a grain, a bean, some veggies. Top with optional protein, mm -hmm. some fresh veggies, and feta. And then I always love to do any fresh herbs you have on hand. Mm -hmm. Just give it that bright, springy, delicious feel. So we're going to add some fresh herbs and Kalamata olives. The other thing I wanted to mention, do you guys meal prep? Have you That's, heard of meal prep? Mm -hmm. Okay, these recipes, uh, the ones that I'm showing you all today are, are written to serve four. And if you wanted to do your workday lunches for the whole week, you're going to line up your ingredients like this. Break out some containers like this in a row and just right. meal prep, and you've got lunch ready for the week. And then you put the dressing on when you're ready would, to eat, right? You know what? With this one, most of these ingredients are hearty enough where you can actually dress them ahead. So this is just a light Greek vinaigrette. You could use bottled. It's fine. Right. You don't want to mm -hmm. make it by hand. 
Um, but yeah, all of these are designed to be made ahead. You can enjoy them warm or chilled, which makes them great for spring healthy eating. That's amazing. I love the easy part. Yes. Julie, thank uh, you so much. Easy. Thanks for having we me. We appreciate it. And the recipes to all of these dishes, even the ones we didn't get mm -hmm. to, is on our website, cbsnewyork.com, yep. and yours as well. Yeah, and I have a free we'll recipe right book on my website, too. <laughs> yeah.